this is Angela Agronoff, the Unclutter Angel, coming to you today with episode number three. And today I want to talk to you about bookshelves. I just want to give you a few quick tips on bookshelves, how to organize your bookshelves, how to keep those bookshelves from looking like more than a place where books should be kept. <laughs> And you know who you are, right? So a dear friend of mine gave me some tips. She's um, a designer in homes. And one thing that she shared with me a while back that's always stuck with me, and that is that you should only have up to about three or more tchotchke items on each shelf, on your bookshelf, working that around your books. And I think that's a great um, rule to go by. So as you can see behind me, you, I have some books on my shelves, and I like to have them going in some different directions, but I also like to add in some photographs, some um, items that are of value to me or things that mean something to me, and put them together in an artistic way. If you have some bookshelves where you can't really see everything that's on the shelf, you really can't appreciate what you have on the shelf. Or what if you're looking for a book and it's buried away in the back or it, it makes it hard to, to dust. There's many, there are many reasons why having cluttered bookshelves just, just don't work. So looking behind me, you can see I have a stack of books up here, some seashells from a trip that we took to Florida that my kids collected. Put them in a nice glass jar to kind of keep them all contained. I don't know if you have seashells spilling out over the house, but that's a great way to hold your um, seashells. It's just a flower vase. And on this next shelf, I have some um, photos and frames, and I have a couple of them along with another shell and some books. And same on the, on the shelves as we go down. So I actually am sitting in my office. This is the Unclutter Angel office. And what I have found is when I am very simplistic with my bookshelves and I only have the things that I love and need on my bookshelves, it's so much easier to, first of all, keep them clean because I know how much you guys love to dust bookshelves. And I'm sure that you don't dust your bookshelves just going around everything because nobody will see what's behind everything on the shelves, right? Yeah, I've used that trick before. But it makes it easier to keep clean. And it makes it easier to find things, and it makes it easier to appreciate what you have on the shelves. When people come into my office and they see my bookshelves, they see what's part of me, what I enjoy. And when I'm sitting here in my office, I can enjoy what's on my bookshelves. And every so often, if I have some other things, maybe I want to switch out, change up the way my shelves look. I definitely have some other um, items that I love in different parts of the home. And I just kind of rotate things just to keep it fresh. And um, I'm an artist. What can I say? I get bored kind of easily. So it's kind of fun to, to change up the look of things. So hope these tips help you and to keep your bookshelves beautiful. You know, you can find more of these tips on my blog, which is on my website, theuncluttherangel.com. Actually, I think that just might be unclutterangel. Dot com, know the. Um, so you can go on there and you can find some great tips to use all around the house. Also dealing with the organizing mindset. You can also pick up my free seven day clutter busting guide. And um, it's an awesome guide just to get you through projects, to get you thinking. And the best part is to help you get to completion with your project. So go on over to my website and pick up that for free. Thank you so much for coming by. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.